Hey, this is Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to show you the actual pricing for $10,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 67-year-old female. Now, first thing you need to understand is you can go directly to our website, and we've got these free quarters on just about every page. You select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount. Put your birthday birthday in there, other info, click the get quotes now. It will take you to a page that's going to show you all the best insurance companies with all the best rates. And this will help you avoid some of those tricky plans out there, those ones that offer you like a really super low advertised rate. And then when you call them up, it's like a super low amount of coverage and they try to upsell you. And then you end up with a policy that's like 200% more expensive. So we can help you avoid that. Take advantage of that. We've also got our toll-free number, 888-862-9456, and you can have one of our licensed agents get you the best pricing and help you understand what you qualify for. But the first thing you need to understand as a 67-year-old female is, you know, is $10,000 going to be enough for your final expense needs? Now, that's typically going to come down to two things, burial or cremation. Let's talk about cremation first. So, the average price of a cremation right now in the United States is around one to two thousand dollars. You know that's uh, if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Now, if you're going to have some sort of a ceremony in addition to the cremation, that's probably going to be thirty-five hundred to forty-five hundred dollars ish or so. So we would typically recommend for that cremation where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn between five thousand to seven thousand dollars. Now. You know, that's that's going to give you more coverage than you need right away right now. But remember, you're 67. We're hoping you make it to 77, maybe even 87. And we know things will be more expensive in the future. So we want to get a little bit of additional coverage, but not go crazy. So just uh, keep in mind, you can always add more coverage later, too. We can help you do that. Now, if you're looking for that that cremation with a service, we're probably recommending maybe about seven to $10,000. And again, don't go crazy on the coverage. You know, sometimes people will say, well, I want to get, you know, 20, 30, $40,000 because I want to leave some money behind for my kids. We would uh, typically say, hey, you know, at age 67, you know, probably should have thought of that a little bit sooner. And this insurance probably is not always the best case for you simply because most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income. And we, we advise them not going crazy with the coverage. Really just cover your final expense needs. And instead of spending more money on an insurance policy to give to kids after you're dead, just spend that extra money on them while you're alive. And they will appreciate it. And they'll have those great memories, as will you. So, yeah, just keep in mind that if you've got a tight budget, get what you can afford. That's going to help your family immensely. And we can always help you get more coverage. Now, for a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So if you walk into pretty much any funeral home in the U.S. with a $10,000 check, they will get things done. It is hard to uh, hard to imagine they would say no to a $10,000 check, let you walk out the door and walk right down the street to one of their competitors and they'll take it. But just understand, $10,000 is not going to be a fancy funeral by any means. So if you're a 67-year-old female, we'd probably recommend somewhere in the ten to 15000 range. Some people would want to go up to 20000 But let's make sure that fits your budget first. Again, if all you can afford is 10000 get that right now. We can always help you add more coverage. That takes care of the most immediate need, which is if you died tomorrow. And just in case you died tomorrow, we always recommend first day coverage or benefits. That's the only thing we help people with at Funeral Funds of America. We do not recommend those two-year waiting period plans. No. A policy that makes you wait two years is just not the way to go. We'll talk about that in a moment, though. A lot of people would say, hey, you know, I want that first day coverage, but they, they ask health questions. I'm not in the best of health, which is not uncommon for a 67-year-old female. But, uh, you know, your health is our concern. And we work with enough different insurance companies. They all ask different health questions. They all have different underwriting requirements. And uh, right now, we're, we're getting about 90 to 95% approvals for first aid coverage. The only reason we wouldn't be able to get you first aid coverage is if you had, like, a really significant health issue. Like, maybe 
you've got a terminal illness and you're going to die in the next 12 months or you're you've, or you've got dementia or you're on dialysis or you're in a hospital or you're in a nursing home. If that's the case, we'd probably refer you out to a different insurance company. But the other thing that seems to happen every week is we get somebody that will call us up and they will say, oh, you know, we had a terrible thing happen. We had a loved one pass away this last week and they didn't have any insurance and we don't have any money. And uh, we need to get this insurance right away because the the, you know, the body's down at the funeral home and the funeral director is not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So, again, we need to get this right away so we can get a check in our hand to get a check in the funeral director's hand. And we have to let them know there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer you first day coverage for a dead person. No, it doesn't work out that way. So uh, you actually have to get this insurance while you're alive. And it's terrible. It's terrible that this person didn't have this insurance. They knew they were going to die someday. They probably planned on getting it, but they just died too soon. And now their family has to suffer. And in so many cases, families don't have the money and they've got to finance this and pay this off over years and years and years. And do you want that to be your legacy? Do you want your, your legacy to be that every time your name comes up, everybody goes, yeah, you know, yeah, he said he loved us, but, you know, we're still paying on his funeral. He didn't love us that much. So don't be that person. This, this, this insurance is affordable. Don't be that person. So we don't recommend those two-year waiting period plans. Now, Colonial Pen here, I'm, I'm on, on their website. Uh, most people don't know that that 995 plan, that commercial that you see all the time on TV, that's a two-year waiting period plan. Yeah, and they're not the only company. There's other ones out there like Mutual of Omaha. They're United of Omaha Line and AIG and Gerber. And there's a bunch of different companies out there too. And some of these companies have done an amazing job at convincing the American public that the only thing they're going to qualify for if they're over age 50 is a plan with a two-year waiting period. <laughs> to which we go, ha, 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 ha. Don't believe such nonsense because we help people with first aid coverage all day long. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, now, a lot of 67-year-old females would watch that Colonial Pen TV commercial and they would think, you know what? I'm pretty smart for waiting until age, till, until age 67. I'm probably going to get a lot of coverage. You know, yeah, I'm just good at this stuff, you know. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get 20000 30000 Maybe. <laughs> 40,000 maybe, but you know what? I bet since I'm so smart and I waited so long, I, pro I can probably get 50,000. And then they talk with a Colonial Pen agent or go on their website like we've done for you here. And they find out that for a 67-year-old female, one unit of coverage at 995 is going to pay out <laughs> $1,167. That is not even enough, I don't think, enough for a cremation in most parts of the United States. So, and it doesn't matter because it's got a two-year waiting period. It's not going to pay out for two years, right? And $1,167 is not going to be worth as much in two years. So, yeah, that's why we don't recommend two-year waiting periods. They're so expensive and they've got the two-year wait and all that other stuff. So, you know, let, let, let's take a look here and see what $10,000 worth of coverage. Now, with Colonial Pen, a 67-year-old female cannot get $10,000 worth of coverage because of the per-unit pricing. It spits out kind of real wackadoodle numbers, like 1167 So I think, I'm thinking, just guessing here, we might have to look at around nine units just to come close. There we go. 10503 You can't get 10000 like just about every other insurance company. You can buy by coverage amount, but yeah, Colonial Pen's got their per-unit. The reason they've got that per unit is so that they can advertise something at $9.95. And a lot of people would say, you know, th those teaser rates of $9.95, a lot of people would say that that's really intended just to get you on the phone. And from there on, it's going to be the upsell to get more money and get more coverage and kind of pressure you to buy over the phone. And we would never say that, but... Maybe just um, see if maybe that's a belief that you have about companies like that. Quite possibly. That may be your belief. But let's take a look. So we've got, yeah, $10,503, $89, roughly 
for $10,000 worth of coverage. Let's go look and see what $10,000 worth of first day coverage would be and see if we can save you any money. I, I know we can. I know we can. I know we can. Here we go. Let's take a look. 10,000 female, age 67. Get quote. We're going to go back and take a look again. 10,000. It's around $90. Let's see what we can get here. <gasps> look at that. Around $45. Boy, I don't know about you and your math, but $45 times two is 90. <gasps> Look at that. So the Colonial Pen Plan is right at about close to 200% more expensive. Why would you buy a plan that's 200% more expensive and it has a two-year waiting period and you're going to have to overpay on that policy for the rest of your life? Tell me, why would you do that when you can get first day coverage level? Simplified issue level means first day coverage. Simplified issue with this company means we can get you approved the very same day over the phone. Think about this. If Colonial Pen is $45 more expensive a month, that is right around $540 a year. If you had this policy 10 years until you're age 77, you will have overpaid right around $5,400, overpaid $5,400 on a $10,000 policy. Does that make any sense? When you could just keep that $5,400 in your own pocket, spend it on yourself, spend it on your family. You could actually get more insurance right off the bat if you wanted more coverage and still save money. So yeah, just be really careful of some of these companies out there that that overcharge so much. But let's look at some other companies here. You'll be able to see all of these different insurance companies on a quarter. Let's try to find another one here, though. Oh yeah, here's here, here's Lincoln Heritage. They are uh, they're a fine company, I, I guess. I mean, look at that pricing. It's like twenty dollars more a month. It is level coverage though, first day coverage. Well, the thing is, like Lincoln Heritage, they've got a deal where when you pass away. They would supposedly call two, three different funeral homes and, uh, you know, get you the best price. Maybe do a couple other things. But as you can see, they're like $20 more a month. That is $240 extra a year. And then after 10 years, that's right around $2,400. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth overpaying $2,400 after 10 years to have an insurance company call two or three funeral homes, maybe do a couple other things that might only take an hour or so to do. So uh, most, you know, many people would say, hey, that's that's a pretty good payday for, for the insurance company. And I guess we would tend to agree. We don't recommend it. You know, at Funeral Funds of America, we've got a free funeral and estate planning guide. And you can download that off our website and print it out. And then you just you just fill it out. Who gets what, what goes where, and what you want done after you're gone. And then you keep it with your insurance policy. And then when you pass away, everything there is for your family and loved ones. You know, you've protected them financially with the insurance and you've protected them emotionally with the funeral and the estate planning guide. And they're going to know exactly what they need to do. They'll just execute your wishes. And they will have such peace of mind knowing that you just listed everything out and they took care of it per your wishes. And what a gift of love to let them know that you are not only thinking of them and loving them in life, but you are also protecting them in death by having this all taken care of in advance. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. So go to our website. We've got these quarters on just about every page. We've got a special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. You can get the best discounts and rates on that one. And 888-862-9456 is our toll free number. You can talk with one of our agents. They can help you understand what what you need to do to qualify for the lowest rates. And whether you have an existing insurance policy, you want to price shop, we can do that for you. If you just want to add coverage to it, we can do that for you. If you want brand new coverage, we can do that for you. And if you just want information or help or pricing or just understanding how these things work, we can do that for you as well. So we look forward to helping you get the most insurance for the least amount of money. We look forward to the day we can talk to you about this. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.